In this video today, we will be looking at a poorly Acer Chromebook and seeing if there's anything we can do to bring it back from the dead. So, uh, roll titles! Hi, I'm Kip from KipHakes.tv and we have got an Acer Chromebook 514 here and it's a really nice little Chromebook. It was actually owned by my mum but it decided to die and uh, mum gave it to me just to sort of see if there was anything I could do, maybe get it working. She's got a replacement one that she's very happy with it but because it's been looked after very well, I kind of want to save it. Now, I think the internal hard drive in it is actually failing. Now, these aren't like normal sort of standard laptops. The hard drives in them aren't removable and they're actually fairly small circuit boards and they aren't user replaceable. Normally with any old kind of standard laptop, if the hard drive was failing, you could just open it up, whip it out and put in a new hard drive, but you can't do that with this particular Chromebook and a lot of other Chromebooks. So what we're going to do is before we stress too much about the hard drive being dead, we're going to try and attempt recovery on this. Now, it's coming up asking for recovery. It's saying that the Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Please remove all connected devices and start recovery. So we're going to do that. And uh, to uh, start recovery, we need one of two things. We need a memory stick or a... Uh, memory card to put the recovery software on and then we also need the recovery software and if you'll see on here it's saying for help visit google.com forward slash chrome os forward slash recovery there we go so i have gone to that web address and uh, it's sort of saying we can uh, try some less evasive invasive steps basically we're past that now with this error there's nothing you can do it's it's sort of stuck so uh, we now need to download a copy of the OS and we need the recovery extension within Chrome to do so. So let's install that and add it to Chrome. Uh, yes, add extension. There we go. So uh, I've got my memory stick and it's asking to, for it to be plugged in. So I'll just stick it in. Now, as it says on the screen, you need a memory stick that you don't mind being formatted because it will remove all the data. So just bear that in mind. We don't, you know, don't go picking one that, you know, has got important files on because it will all go. So yes, we've done that. So we'll say get started. So we need to enter the uh, model number of the Chromebook and that is actually on the screen there. There we go, it's found a match. So uh, let's continue. And then what media would we like to use? We'd like to use my uh, SanDisk Ultra, that's it. So continue. Uh, yes, it's just confirming that we want to use that. And now what that's doing is downloading the operating system for this Chromebook onto my computer and then it will put it onto the memory card. So this process takes sort of five to ten minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. Um, and yeah, we've just got to uh, wait for it to make the media and uh, we'll go from there. So that copy of the new operating system is nearly finished downloading, just got about 15 seconds to go. So that's really good. It's now writing the recovery image to the USB stick. So uh, we should be ready to rock and roll and hopefully see if we can fix this thing. But honestly, I'm not that hopeful. I did guide my mum through these steps before she gave this to me and uh, she was still having similar issues. So uh, yeah, I think the hard drive on this might be toast. But who knows, This might if you've got this problem with yours, it might not be the hard drive, it might just need a full reset like this. So, you know, it might help you. And also, give this video a thumbs up. Why not? I don't often ask for thumbs up, give it one. There we go, so it's quickly just verifying that what's been written to the disk is all correct. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be ready to rock and roll on here in just a moment. Whoa, it's open about 30 windows. What's this? 
Right, okay, what I'm gonna do, that's mad, did you see that? I'm just gonna eject the drive now. There we go. Whoa, that was madness, madness. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna say done and pull this out. And then we're just gonna plug it into the USB on the side here. So now we need to put the Chromebook into recovery mode. And to do that, we press the escape and refresh button and then press the power button and then let go of power. There we go. So it's now gone into recovery mode and doing its thing. Let me zoom in so you can see, there we go. So it's running through the system recovery process now. Will it work? I hope so. I really hope so. Because if it does need a new uh, hard drive inside it, that's gonna be a lot of work and uh, probably work that I can't do. But I do have a plan, which I'll tell you about in a little while. And it's worth me saying that I'm no expert in anything really. So, uh, you know, if you do this with your Chromebook and it destroys it or it explodes, then it's your, it's your own silly fault for listening to an idiot like me. I mean, I feel vaguely hopeful that it hasn't just sort of said, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. So, you know, that might, that might be positive. It does definitely seem to be doing something, but whether it's fixing it is another question altogether. Ah, <laughs> look, there we go. An unexpected error has occurred. Please refer to this URL for troubleshooting tips, which is the same URL that we went to before. So uh, let's see what the website suggests, shall we? An unexpected error has occurred. Erase the storage device and try again. Try using a different USB flash or SD card to recover. No, I don't think it's either of those things to be completely honest with you. And then uh, final nail in the coffin. If you're still having problems, contact your Chromebook manufacturer. Well, this is well out of warranty. So uh, I don't think they're going to be able to help in any way, shape or form. Let's just restart it and see if it's made any difference whatsoever because you know, never know. Okay, let's power it back up again. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, but it did a little boot loop there. I'm not feeling hopeful, that little boot loop, that little reset when uh, it first came on, it's, d it's done that a couple of times. And also the fact that it said that the recovery had failed isn't a good, uh, isn't a good look, is it? Let's just sign in as me. Mm -hmm. Let's just power it off and see what it does. See, it's not coming back on again now. Oh, and there we go. We're back to the recovery screen again. So yeah, I think the uh, hard drive is f has failed or is failing, or it might be that there is a dry joint on one of the connectors. Now, the as I mentioned earlier, the hard drive is, I think it's called an EMMC, and that is essentially like a tiny chip, and underneath the chip are little balls of solder that hold it on to the motherboard of the Chromebook. Now it's easy enough to get the EMMC off of there because you can just apply heat to it and pull it off. But to get a new one back on, you actually need to replace the little balls of solder that are uh, underneath it and then melt those and it will, uh, it will go back on. But reballing is something that is well above my pay grade. Now, I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to send it to another YouTuber and maybe do some sort of collaboration with them. And hopefully they'll be able to show the repair on their YouTube channel and uh, we can see, see how it all goes. So I'm gonna send this to a guy called Phil. His uh, YouTube channel is The Coder and I'll put the name on the screen and I'll also put a link to it in this video description. And he is an electronics wizard. Phil does like really hardcore repairs. He's got like a solder reballing equipment and he can reball tiny chips. So I think that is what this needs. So 
I'm gonna get this in the post to Phil and hopefully he'll receive it and take it apart and have a look and maybe make a video of him potentially repairing it um, because there's something definitely not right here. It's just, it's a bit of a poorly Chromebook. Now it might not even be the EMMC, I'm really not sure, but the fact that the operating system isn't sticking on there and it seems to have errors booting up, there's not much that can go wrong with these because they're quite simple beasts. So I don't know. But yeah, please go and give Phil a follow because even if you've got no interest in electronics or any idea what's going on, Phil is so good at explaining what exactly he's doing. And I find watching his videos just really quite chill and zen because um, he's not all like up and leery in your face. And yeah, just watching him at work and the stuff that he does is just so relaxing. So even if you don't think you've got any interest in electronic repairs, please go and check out Phil because he's a lovely guy and uh, I hope he can help me with this. But yeah, we'll wait and see. So go check out Phil. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.